Hello everyone and welcome on De Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some gazanias. Gazanias are flowers that look like uh, a daisy uh, but a little bit bigger and uh, a little bit more pointy. Uh, it's a plant from uh, South Africa uh, but you can see it uh, in the south of France and uh, the one I've seen uh, was in uh, the cactus garden in Barcelona. And uh, as I took my, my picture in uh, June of 2020, uh, I seen this uh, flower in uh, the florist uh, right now uh, during uh, April uh, so you can find it quite easily uh, in fact. I've started this painting by adding some water to my paper uh, quite randomly uh, in order to uh, give some uh, area where my first color will be able to move to. Uh, I do not uh, think too much about it, I just want something going on when I uh, put my first color. And my first color I added to the paper is some red and yellow. Uh, the red is uh, Windsor red and uh, the yellow is nickel as a yellow. But when I uh, apply some red, I mix a little bit uh, of nickel as, as a yellow into the Windsor red in order to have a warmer tone of uh, red. And in the yellow, I mix a tiny bit of Windsor red in order to have a more warm tone of yellow. I really want uh, for you to see the warmness in uh, this uh, painting. Uh, these flowers are uh, living in quite a hot area. Uh, so I need to show that to you, that uh, there is uh, a lot of hotness into it. So I'm using a lot of yellow and uh, warm colors uh, in, in this painting. Without waiting for uh, the flower to dry, I'm adding some color around them. Uh, it will blend with the color of the flower and it's totally fine for the first layer uh, that the color are blending together. Uh, so I'm adding some greens around them uh, and I make this green by mixing some Indian Twin Blue with Nickel as a yellow. And sometimes I put a tiny little bit of uh, Windsor Red into the green in order to uh, give it a little bit more uh, natural tone uh, and a little bit um, just murky green into, uh, into that. I'm working this first layer uh, quite a lot, uh, much more than I'm used to, uh, just because uh, I want to be able to uh, build uh, the colors for this first layer quite a long time. Uh, I can uh, just build the flower uh, step by step by adding some color and sometimes by removing some color with a clean brush. Uh, I want to add darker tone also in this first layer uh, already in order to have some depth uh, into uh, the painting right away. Uh, I just want to take my time really uh, to have a really good base to work with after. And because I'm working this first layer quite a long time and there is a lot of water on my paper, uh, I've chosen to work with a particular paper today. Uh, it's from Archie's as usual, uh, but the weight of the paper is a double as that I'm used to. So normally I'm using a 300 GSM, but today is a 640 GSM, so it's a double. It's a really heavy paper and it will not budge at all. It will not buckle uh, along my first layer. It can hold a lot of water and it's really, really practical to uh, work with a paper like that. So you can see uh, that uh, my flowers are emerging from the paper. You can uh, have a first glance at uh, my subject. Uh, there is already a lot of darkness and a lot of details into this painting. And that's just what I want uh, for this first layer. And uh, that's because I've taken my time to uh, build this first layer so long uh, that there is a lot of detail right now. Some area of my paper are already dry so I can add some details that will not uh, blend into uh, the water uh, but other parts part are really really wet. So I will let this dry and I will talk you through my supplies. For the brushes I'm using an Escoda Ultimo 1 inch and a Princeton Neptune half an inch. 
for the colors I'm using Intentine Blue, Naked as a Yellow, Windsor Red, Rose Mother Lake. And as I said at the beginning, my paper is from Archie's in cold pressed, but 640 GSM. So I've said that I'm using some Rose Mother Lake, but you cannot see uh, some pink into my painting right now. It's just because I've used this Rose Mother Lake mixed with Indian Trend Blue to make some uh, violet tone uh, right now to add some really uh, rich dark uh, shadow into uh, this painting. Uh, so I, I really like to work with violet to create painting because it adds a little bit of cold uh, tone to, uh, to the shadow uh, and it will make them appear a bit more like shadow. But I'm surrounding this area of really dark color with a lot of greens uh, so that you can uh, totally understand that there is foliage here and uh, there is something going on. As my flowers are uh, quite bright in color uh, with this uh, warm yellow and uh, really warm red, uh, I like to darken the surrounding of the flower in order to make them pop a little bit more. Uh, so that's why I'm adding a lot of contrast uh, just under the flower uh, so that they are lifted and uh, appear so much brighter. So now I'm adding some more color into the flower. Uh, I have always the difficulty to work with red. Uh, it dries so much lighter uh, in the first layer. So I'm adding another layer of, of red and uh, of yellow uh, into each flower. Uh, I try to uh, be quite uh, heavy handed on uh, the pigment in order to really have this bright red. Uh, and in order to support this uh, red, I'm adding a lot of nickel as a yellow into it. Uh, I always found that uh, with a, a base of yellow, reds are uh, going to be a bit stronger. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. For this painting, I'm just working with flat brushes. I have a big one and a, a little one. And they will bring a lot of expressivity in my brush marks uh, because they are flat and I have to work with the flatness uh, of them. I can use them in quite a lot of way to have some tiny details made uh, with the point of the brush, uh, with the side of the brush, or I can use the full body of the brush in order to have uh, just big strokes uh, of colors. Uh, they allow me to have uh, really a lot of expressivity in, uh, in my brush marks uh, and they uh, add some energy uh, into the painting. The flower I'm painting today, and if you want to uh, look at it, there will, will be a reference picture on my blog. Uh, the link is in the description just below the video. So these flowers are uh, really pointy uh, petals, pointy foliage, uh, and uh, to work with a flat brush for uh, making this uh, flower will help me to give you this sensation of a really pointy ends, uh, pointy uh, just foliage uh, in, in this painting. They allow me to have this really uh, expressive feel uh, in, in the painting. The way I'm working the color today is quite different uh, as uh, I'm used to. Uh, generally, I just uh, finish one area before passing to another. Uh, but um, for this painting, I just wanted to uh, look at what color was on my brush and work with that. Uh, so yes, I need uh, this color in this area, but I also need it in this other area. So I will just work step by step building uh, the background and the flower uh, just depending on what color is on my brush. And as you can see uh, even if I'm working with just uh, flat brushes I can add some tiny details into uh, the heart of the flower uh, with really no problem at all uh, because I'm using just the side of it. Uh, and uh, it's uh, always a great thing to know how to use your tool to make this happen. 
And this video is now ending. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Please check the blog post for more information about it. And uh, of course, tell me what you think in the comment. See you soon.